Joining me now, Howard Gould, a conservationist and an eco entrepreneur. Good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Sure, Jamie. How do you analyze what happened? That that video is so dramatic. What is at stake here? The the protection of the whales uh, or the the techniques? Is there a technique that's success, more acceptable? I well, I think I think it's a very difficult situation because I mean, as that video shows, it's very hard to tell who's at fault here. But in the past, these groups have claimed that they have sunk Japanese whaling ships and are referred to as eco terrorists. Unfortunately, whaling is a very interesting and very difficult issue to overcome because there are places like the International Whaling Commission, which actually my father was uh, on the U.S. Uh, Deputy Commissioner, which is set up to stop whaling. But unfortunately, they have no legal grounds to do so, and they can't enforce these laws. So these people are taking this stuff into their own hands and doing what they can. Let me just make this point. You say that you can't tell who's at fault. I'm not going to place blame, but from the video, it looks like they come straight into the whaling boat. Well, I mean, they're claiming that the whaling boat was turning into them. I mean, I happen to agree with you. This video does look like that, but I don't want to make any claims to say who is at fault because we don't know exactly what occurred out there in the in the southern oceans. But when you talk about eco-terrorists, I, I think that their heart is generally in the right place, but unfortunately their actions are not. What and do you know about this group, though, in the past? Have they caused uh, other collisions? Uh, I'm not going to issue a verdict on this one, but have they been involved in other aggressive activities before? And has anyone been injured? Well, they claim they have. They claim they've actually sunk 10 whaling vessels, not only Japanese, but also Icelandic, and I believe some from Norway. So they're bragging about it. They, uh, well, essentially they are in some ways bragging about it. They also claim that no one has been injured. But the fact is that destruction of property is still probably not the best way to go about this. And, you know, people taking more reasonable tasks, this should be something that they're looking at a little bit more carefully. I read an article that said that Greenpeace is separating themselves from these guys because they are a little too militant and violent about the way that they're going to stop whaling from occurring. Just give our viewers, whales are beautiful creatures. We enjoy watching them. Absolutely. We're always checking out specials to see what they're up to. But how endangered are they? How important is it to control whaling? Well, it is very important to control whaling. When you start looking at the Antarctic Oceans and the Southern Oceans, the blue whale populations are at about 1% of what they used to be 100 years ago. Now, that is a direct result of whaling, but it's also a direct result of pollution and ocean traffic. The fact is that they don't need to be whaling. They're whaling for what they say scientific purposes. And, you know, these people that are out there from the Sea Shepherd might be referred to as eco-terrorists, but unfortunately the Japanese and other whaling companies are terrorizing the ecosystem. All right, and Howard, that I have needs to, to be leave taken it care of. There. Howard Absolutely. Gould, uh, great to talk to you about something that you are so expert in.